one. Um, I thought I'd do a flip through of my mini art journal from Dilusions because I've been working in this for the whole year and I never shared um, a flip through or some of the pages I've worked on. I've always wanted to get around to it but I just never uh, did it so I've been feeling like art journaling a lot again lately um, from watching Natalia's um, YouTube videos at Harp. I'm going to post her channel down below. You guys have to check her out. She is wicked talented. I love her style. I love her the way she draws. She's a huge inspiration. So so I wanted to get into art journaling again. I tend to do that. I tend to have periods where all I do is art journaling and then I go into um, more mini albums and I feel like that ends up happening towards the summer. Uh, Halloween comes around so I want to do mini albums and then Christmas, December daily and then after that I just kind of get over mini albums and just want to work on art journaling. So it's a little pattern I have I guess that goes with the seasons. Anyway I'm just going to get right into it. So, um, there's a, This is the first page and I'm going to zoom in just a little. So for this page there's an actual backstory to this um, but I really wanted to use other colors that I'm not used to. So greens and yellows and then I added some teals in it and I just kind of went crazy with it. I just used my fingers to smudge on some paint. But because I don't really go with greens and yellows, it wasn't really, I wasn't feeling it. And originally it was something completely different. I, so I took some gesso and I kind of covered up all of the stuff I had beforehand. I kind of just removed it, smudged it out, um, added this washi tape here, put some gesso on top of the washi tape. And then I came back to this um, a while after. And it's cool, but this page is kind of interesting because I've incorporated my two favorite bands, uh, AFI and Against Me. Basically, they have a song called Black Me Out, and it's my jam. This is my one of my favorite songs. This is, uh, I forgot, I think it's Dino Wakely. Um, I have this stamp, and I just you know, uh, never used it, so I stamped it out, used it on this page. Her eyes are blacked out, so I guess kind of that's where I went with this um for the page and she's really kind of like she has a, I made her I try to create like a faux shadow around her and then I added some of this like um, painters mesh or whatever that's called drywall mesh and I added some here and there and I think that's pretty much it for this page um, and then I took a black pen I wrote black me out in this funky style nothing you know crazy I outlined that I outlined the image I outlined the little border I doodled around it so it's a pretty simple ish page. Once you break down all the steps, you can see like an original page is very kind of simple. For this page, um, I don't even remember how I did it. I think what I did was I added a layer of gesso and then smushed it, opened it up, and that's why there's like these wrinkles. I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me zoom in. So you guys can see here there's a couple of wrinkles on the page and especially when you rub your finger around it, you feel the wrinkles. So, um, I just then went over it with uh, the stress stains in the the yellow, uh, the peacock color, I forgot what it's called. And then over that, I went back with some of the acrylic glazes, the silks, and purple, pinks, and blues from what I can make out. And then I did a, a simple border and then added some dots on around that. And then I did another border with dots and plus signs all around it also. Um, so that's the border pretty much goes all around and for the background I think what else did I do I added little um, like plus signs I have a book of quotes that I've collected and things that I want to use in, in my art journal and one of them that is one of my favorites is from Sigmund Freud and it's where does a thought go when it's forgotten I it's a really good question it's it's pretty cool so it makes me think and so I just wrote that out I first traced the line and then I kind of went on that line and, and did the the writing because I kind of want it to look like it was coming out of her open head over here this is a octopode factory oh, I forgot her name I forgot her name but um I love it because I've used it before in my larger art journal but I love it because her brain's open and I thought that it was kind of appropriate with the quote colored her in with with what looks like watercolor pencils add some washi tape down here just to make her stand on something and yeah that's it pretty much uh, on this page um, another little backstory to it I worked on it a while ago I just made the background and then I took a stencil to it plus sign stencil over here then I took a roller uh, stamp that I got from glitz the triangles and I just added some around the page all over the place and um, I left it as is. I did some of these triangles. These are some glitter paper, um, glitter black paper. 
and I just cut them up into triangles and I left it at that. I also added um, little plus signs with polka dot paper and then I just used the bits that I cut out, the little squares, or gar like the leftovers. I just added that around the page too. So I went back to this page for one of my um, oddball art design team projects and I colored up this really cute digi image. I love her. She's so cute in a little cow costume. I wish I could go vegetarian. I really do. But because of my, you know, IBD, I don't think I can. It's a little tricky. Colored her up and that's what I was going with, thinking, please don't eat me. And that was just my thought process about this page. And this is what that page represents to me. That That's this page. This page I made for the um, end of the spending freeze that I had hosted with Jen and Crystal. Um, that was an interesting time and an interesting um, period of three months of not buying anything. So that was really cool. I did this page uh, using a stencil and paints and I don't even remember. I think I used the dilution sprays. So um, I colored up these four images from Saint Boutique. This is Cousin Carmen. This is Minky Girl. This is Moth loved and this is pigtails these are some of my favorite images honestly of Saint Boutique and um, I just printed out it's a celebration with a font on word cut it out and then added some of this silver tool to like back it up and I thought that was pretty cool um, I added some washi tape so they can stand on I love this black and white striped washi tape it's my favorite thing ever I always use it pretty much I try to use it all the time and then I just doodled a border <clears throat> and it's like kind of wonky so it goes skinnier and you know fatter I don't even know the proper terms for that but this is the page for the background I use a flower stencil that's all I can remember but because of the paint it all smudged you don't really see the flowers all that much and also um, because it's illusions I don't know I guess I was working on another project and it's um, you know leaked onto the, the title so there's like uh, the color kind of just like bled through, which um, obviously I don't like, but I mean at this point I can't do anything about it. Accidents happen. So this page, I don't even know how I made the background. Again, I think I had a gesso and lots of the stress stains and I did some stamping. That's what I know. I remember um, I have these border stamps from Hampton Arts or something and there's hearts and flowers and polka dots so I used my um, Saison white which I feel like I need to buy a different white ink because that doesn't it's not as opaque as I want it to be did some circle um, with some paint lids and stuff and little circles everywhere I used some modeling paste on the numbers all over the place and the idea of this was more of a days counting down type of thing. Some Halloween paper from Cartabella, just a scrap that I really love. And I was holding on to these um, little heart things. It came out like in a Unity stamp order I, I ordered. It came like a flyer and I kept it because they had some really cool pictures. So I just cut it up and finally used it up. But I used some rub on letters here and then I just went over it with a white gel pen. And I really love how that turned out. I really want to get into rub ons and using that a lot more. I think it's a really fun way to add um, stuff to your art journaling. I, I really love how this looks. So, um, I originally, again, randomly adding paint on with a paintbrush and then this little like circle thing here, this is actually a face I drew and like I said I suck at drawing. There's the eye and the nose so I decided to just cover it up all together and that's what I did. This is a cutout from a magazine. I love black and white. So I added that there. Uh, here's just a, t a title of an AFI song. A lyric from an AFI song. You can tell I was listening to AFI when I made this page. Some washi tape and pretty much it. This was a page for a Stamp Boutique uh, challenge. It was to use collage uh, magazine items. So I used this magazine body of man and I added the bat boy's face on top of it and then transform your life. I thought it made sense since, you know, I kind of pieced together this body. <laughs> and then the background was made with... Um, I think Distress Paint, <clears throat> this blue border is actually blue metallic paint and it's really cool because it has the same kind of effect as the Silk's acrylic glazes and I got it at the dollar store. Like, so I like how that looks. I did some layering of paint and just little dots and then the little half circle things. I added three little heads from the Heads Saint Boutique stamp that I just cut apart, colored it in. And yeah, that's it for this page. This is a page, again, I had fun with just using colors and I think gelatos, I'm not really sure. No, I think this is water, I don't even know what I used anymore, it's been a while. <laughs> so i actually been holding on to this um, image from a magazine for the longest time. 
what this page is about is um, basically I bought the um, the new album from Against Me and this is a sticker that came on the album I just kept it and put it here I backed it up on some uh, black and white paper but then I kind of just went over that with um, you guys can see here paint and paper and then I just went over it with some gesso and stuff I used some alpha stickers and just wrote the title of Against Me here and a washi tape so for this page um, I don't even remember how I did the background. I think I used Distress Stains or Paints and Gesso. Um, it became like a really nice pastel kind of mixture in the background. You can still see some textures. I know I used Distress Paint here with a stencil. Let me just zoom in. I did some stenciling with, it looks like a text stencil and another floral stencil and some punchinella. And then I took some paint. Um, Dilution sprays and I just kind of did some paint splatters around the page all around it um, The title is called stop it and they use those rub-ons again and this time in white and basically um, I found this like article on Facebook about things you should stop to live a happier and better life or something like that and Some of them I actually really liked so I wrote them down and um, I actually hand stamped all of this with those word those alpha stamp sets from studio G and the numbers are actually another stamp set that I had. So it overall the page kind of looks grungy and I kind of I like how that turned out. Um, this is a stamp boutique image that I colored up. This is Girl with Heart Purse. And I did something interesting. I uh, clear embossed the image and a lot of people have been doing that. I guess it preserves the color or something. I'm not really sure. So I decided to try it out and I heat embossed it with clear embossing powder. So for this page, I watercolored the background beforehand. And I just used, um, I guess, blues and purples and pinks and, and teals. And I just had fun with just making random backgrounds with watercolor um, paint. And then it looks like I did some stamping with a script stamp and like a purple. I think I used this color, actually. I did some splattering with, it looks like, a white paint. And I also made like some lines with um, a paintbrush and with white gesso. And these hearts are actually um, jelly printings that I made. Uh, I made my faux jelly printer. Um, oh, basically a technique of how to create your faux jelly printing plate. And so these are some of the prints that I made with a plate. And what I did was I just cut them out into heart shapes. And then I did further stamping. The colors, these are actually um, high flow acrylics. So then I took some stamps, I took some birds, some polka dots, some grids, and some the same script stamp, and I stamped inside the hearts just to give it some more texture. Then I cut them out, and um, yes, yeah, so I just used a black marker to align the hearts and kind of create a shadow around them, and I decided to leave it blank. I didn't want to put a title, I just, I liked how this looked on its own, and I didn't feel like it needed it anything else. So I'm just going to show you guys the hearts, they're really detailed, and I really like how this page turned out. So for this one, um, I was lucky enough to be contacted by one of my favorite um, artists. Her name is Lily, and she's the maker of the Octopod Factory digital stamps on Etsy. I was so thrilled that she contacted me to be a guest designer, because that's like one of my dreams. So I was really excited. And it was a summer release, so we had um, you know, like a sailor kind of theme. and. Um, that's what I did for this page. I have a video on this, actually, if you guys want to check it out. And so I love the bottom of the ocean, what I did here. It's one of my favorite things ever. <laughs> so I'm just going to tilt the air around so you guys can see it. But I added a bunch of glitter, and it stayed put, so that's awesome. And then I added some of this gold and green um, metallic kind of thread just to make it look more... I don't know, like the bottom of the ocean probably has a bunch of stuff there. So I'm just going to, you guys can pick up on that. There's a lot of detail. And then I added some of that mesh tape and chunky glitter. It looks really pretty and shiny in person. And the last page is this one. Um, it, I made this page, I think, in June, yeah. And I was really feeling like Halloween kick. I really missed Halloween. So basically... Um, this page kind of was ruined. It didn't come out as well as I thought it would. I originally put a black and white tissue paper down and then I think um, 
it got damaged somehow I'm not really sure I think and so basically I had to go over it again the tissue paper and I used paint and markers just to kind of like outline the stripes again and that's why it kind of looks really messy um, and this is a picture of Beetlejuice the cartoon version I actually drew myself and colored them up with my Copics and they were so proud of this um, the eyes are a little like off but I was so proud of how I colored and how I did the detailing so what I did was I have this Beetlejuice uh, bag and I took them out and I just kind of copied it by eye yeah. So that's what I did. I had a lot of fun and I just wrote my Miss Halloween. And then I actually added these skull stickers recently. I got them from Rhonda and um, she entered my Halloween giveaway and it was really awesome. So uh, she added a couple of goodies and some stickers. I thought it went appropriately with the page. And that's the last one. If you guys want to know more, I have uh, our journal playlist. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put the link down below as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed a little peek into my art journal. Bye.